Imagine that you're a cloud engineer and you have to provision a virtual machine for your dev environment. Install and configure the dependencies and then decide to create an identical virtual machine for your test environment. Are you confident that you can recreate the same configuration? Sure. What about all the tweaks you made to run things in the dev environment? Did you track them? Hmm, maybe. Can you verify that the two environments are configured identically once they're provisioned? No, not really. What happens when you need to scale the same configuration to thousands of machines to support production? Usually that means a lot of late nights. In this video, learn how you can overcome these challenges using Terraform and IEC tool. Hello, my name is Rekha. And I'm Owen, and we're technical curriculum developers here at Google Cloud. Here's what's covered in this video. Common provisioning pain points, IAC and its benefits, an introduction to Terraform, Terraform's features, and the Terraform workflow. Gone are the days where a system administrator had to manually configure hundreds of servers, networks, and firewall rules through a UI. With the rapid scaling of IT infrastructure, DevOps teams are struggling to efficiently manage their growing business needs. They need technology that can scale rapidly, eliminate operational bottlenecks, close communication loops, and most importantly, reduce the frequency of human errors. Here is where IAC can help. IAC? What's IAC? Infrastructure as Code, or IAC, is managing and provisioning infrastructure through a configuration language instead of a UI. It is the foundational concept of Terraform. And what about support for Google Cloud? The good news is, Google Cloud is already tightly integrated with Terraform. Like I mentioned, I need technology that can scale rapidly. Better yet, adopting IAC principles help you handle massive growth and demand for your applications. Hmm. I'm wondering whether you can use IAC to configure different types of infrastructure elements. Give me a few examples. OK, let's start at the bottom. I need a VPC with subnets and custom firewall rules. Yes. I have virtual machines and bare metal systems. Of course, yes. I have containers deployed to Kubernetes clusters. Why not? As we scale, we're going to use a combination of these. Done. The important thing about IAC is that it helps you capture the process in a way that can be repeated and automated. If IAC can help me with all of these pain points, what's Terraform all about? IAC is a concept whereas Terraform is an IAC tool. By definition, Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code tool created by HashiCorp that lets you provision Google Cloud resources with declarative configuration files. Examples of resources include virtual machines, containers, storage, network, and a lot more. Terraform allows infrastructure to be expressed as code in a simple human-readable language called HCL. Sounds interesting, but I'm looking for support for an enterprise-level infrastructure. Terraform has an open source structure with three different editions that range from self-hosted to fully managed, including enterprise support. Great. I'm curious to learn more. Do I have to code everything from scratch? Not really. Terraform also has a large community, including a registry with fully available modules for Google Cloud deployments and reusable modules for standardized resource deployments. OK, let's use a real world example and see how Terraform works. For example, in a common two-tier architecture, you would have a pool of web servers that use a database tier. How can Terraform help? Let me answer that question by using the IAC workflow, which includes five different phases. OK, let's go. You start with the scope phase, where you scope the requirements for the Google Cloud resources and plan how they should be connected. In this case, scope the type of compute and database instances needed. OK, I can do that. The Terraform workflow begins with the author phase where you author the configuration code for the infrastructure you want to create. Referring to your example, during this phase, you code the configuration of the instance, the VPC network, and the database instance that you require. OK, remind me what language is used to write this configuration. That would be HCL. And how does Terraform know that I'm using Google Cloud? Great question. We do that in the next phase, the initialize phase, where plugins or modules are installed. During this phase, you run the Terraform init command, which initializes the Terraform configuration directory and installs Google Cloud as the provider. OK, that makes sense. What's next? Next is the plan phase. You run the Terraform plan command. This command helps you review the plan before applying it to your Google Cloud infrastructure. And then am I finished? Is my infrastructure created? Not yet. The Terraform plan is like the rehearsal before the actual show. After you review the configuration described in the plan, you apply it to create the actual infrastructure resources. That all sounds amazing. I can't wait to get started using this. How and where can I install Terraform? And how can I learn HCL? These are all excellent questions which are answered in our beginner-friendly course, Getting Started with Terraform for Google Cloud. Click the link in the description box below to enroll in this training. See you there.